She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. To the park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, you know, I'm on a candy kick here lately, and I showed you how to make Divinity last time, and that one's kind of hard. But, you know, this time I started thinking, and I do like to make marshmallows, and I also like circus peanuts. I've made a um, gelatin uh, little salad with them before, but, you know, whether you like them or not, maybe if you make them at home, they'll taste better. And we're going to be making, um, well, they're banana flavored marshmallows right here in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And they're so easy to make. And I'm going to show you how to make my homemade circus peanut, well, we'll call them nuggets, up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my circus peanut nuggets. Three packets of unflavored gelatin. One and a half cups sugar. One cup light corn syrup. One fourth teaspoon salt. Vanilla extract. Powdered sugar. Half cup water. Banana flavoring. Here's how you put it together. First off, you're going to put three of the envelopes of the unflavored gelatin in your mixing bowl with a half cup of cold water. So just go ahead and put that in there just like that. There we go. And the half cup water just goes on in there. There we go. It'll soak for a while while you get the syrup mixture ready. You're also going to need an 8 by 11 baking dish and you're going to powder it down with the powdered sugar and make sure you get a lot down on the bottom part because that's where the marshmallows are going to rest and dry out. Uh, but get that ready too. Now up on the stove top you're going to take a saucepan on medium high heat and you're going to take um, actually one and a half cups of regular white sugar goes right on in there into the pan and then you need a half cup of, of water you, you're gonna need another of that later on but there we go dump that on in there one fourth teaspoon of uh, salt goes right on in there and then you need one cup of the light corn syrup just pour that right on in there just like that and I have no idea what's smoking underneath there it'll stop in a minute there we go. And you need a silicon like spatula so that it doesn't melt in there. But you need to get this up to 240 degrees. And you need a thermometer. A candy thermometer works great or a deep fry thermometer. But it says 240 right there. But we just need to melt it just a little bit and turn up the heat to get it up to 240. So I'll check back in a minute. Alrighty, according to the candy thermometer, it's registering 240, which is the right temperature. We need to get it over to the mixer quickly and start mixing it in. Now take your mixture and pour it into the gelatin mixture you've got started earlier. You gotta do it really slow at first 
and then you're going to let it go for about 15 minutes. So that's why you need a stand mixer because this just takes a long time. So just pour it on in there. Just like that. Be very careful. It's very hot. It could burn you. And there we go. Pouring it in there just like that. Almost done. There we go. Alrighty. We're going to put up the speed on the mixer. And that's going to go for about 15 minutes. And then you're going to add the other food coloring and the actual flavorings right at the very end. So just let that go and just watch it while you can. And make sure it doesn't go over because it does get kind of sticky. Within the last two minutes of the 15 minutes, um, you're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract to it, just like that. It goes right on in there. And then, if you're going to make it banana flavored, um, at least a tablespoon of the banana flavoring. And I found this in the Asian supermarket. And I'm just going to dump that on in there, just like that. And at least a tablespoon that gives it that banana punch. And um, also, yellow and red food coloring makes orange. So let's just put that on in there. And you can just work with the color for a moment to make sure it turns out right. There we go. Mix that around just like that. Maybe just a tad bit more red there to make it that shocking orange color. There we go. And just let that work for about another minute or two so it's all mixed up. And then we're going to put it in our pan. have our mixture here and you've got to work fast. I've put the powdered sugar down on the bottom of the pan and we're just going to spread it out on top just like that. There we go. Spreading it out. Be careful not to get it all messed up but there we go. Alright. Just spread it around until it's nice and even and there might be some in the bowl to eat later. That's always good. Fresh marshmallow right out of the bowl. And there we go. Just smoothing it out. Get some more out of there. There we go. And then you're going to take some of the powdered sugar and sprinkle that on top. You could use a strainer to make it, you know, the powdered top. With that, but all you're doing is just covering the top there so that it dries out overnight. And it's very sticky, so be very careful. It gets over everything. There we go. And then you're just going to leave this on your countertop overnight and you're going to cut it the next day. So let's just go ahead and leave this and go to the next day. There we go. We have our marshmallows that have sat in the pan overnight and we put the powdered sugar up on top to kind of dry them out overnight. And you've got to use a knife and you just start cutting around to let it get out of the pan. Just around the sides. And it should come out in a sheet, but sometimes it's a pain. But if you put the powdered sugar down on the bottom, it should slide right on out. And you need some extra powdered sugar um, to put down on some wax paper because you're going to coat each piece um, um, that you cut and then put it on a pretty serving platter. There we go. Just cutting it right on out there. And I bet it'll come right on out now. We can just flip it. Yep. There we go. Save that powdered sugar because you can use that to coat them. And just put it down onto the wax paper just like that. And then you can just start cutting your pieces. You can cut them in squares or rectangles or uh, triangles or, you know, you could try to cut a peanut shape if you're good with woodwork. Maybe that would work with marshmallow work. 
but you just need to start cutting into it. There we go. And just make a, another little cut right there. And use that extra powdered sugar to just coat the top, just like that. There we go. And coat the sides, just like that. And there's a complete one, just like that. You can put that on a platter, stack them up all pretty. But I'm just gonna start cutting them all out. And I'll be all uh, back here in a minute once this is all done here. Welcome back. And there you have it, my Circus Peanut Nuggets. And, you know, they have that banana flavor in just like the, you know, the store-brought ones. But you've made these marshmallows, and you can make them all sorts of flavors. You could just change out the banana flavor in for maybe cinnamon or peppermint or something like that. And the food coloring, you can do any color you like. Um, but it, these are just nice and fluffy. You can stack them up real pretty on a buffet table and um, they're best at room temperature and um, these are just great and um, I can't wait to try this one I'm just gonna mm. wow it's so light and fluffy and it's like the best marshmallow you've ever had and it just tastes very you know smooth and I taste that banana flavor and, and if you don't like the candy kind you might like this because this just has, you know, the real sugar uh, taste that, you know, you've made homemade. But they sure are great, and I hope you get a chance to make them. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And all my recipes are on TrailerParkTasteKitchen.com. I love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. There's some more cooking shows right around the corner. And don't forget to add me on Google+. I love you all, and see you soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride Bye. in the double wide. Is it my store at JoleneSugarBaker.com?